Think about this for a moment. Would you believe that in some instances, your right to hold the government accountable for its actions could be stripped away? It sounds dystopian, doesn't it? But it's a reality, thanks to a concept known as sovereign immunity. This legal doctrine can protect a state or its officials from being sued without their consent, creating a potential for abuse of power and infringement on citizens' rights. Consider the case of Georgia, a state in the United States where sovereign immunity has been a contentious issue. The tale of a brave citizen named Elizabeth Branch is a prime example. Elizabeth, a dedicated public servant, saw irregularities in the state's financial dealings. With a sense of duty, she blew the whistle, expecting justice. However, instead of being hailed as a hero, she found herself facing retaliation from state officials. When she sought to sue for this apparent violation of her rights, she was blocked by sovereign immunity. This is not an isolated case. There are countless stories of people like Elizabeth whose quest for justice was thwarted by the shield of sovereign immunity. This raises a critical question. Is the doctrine of sovereign immunity serving the public's interest? Or is it a tool to protect the government from accountability? In the grand scheme of things, sovereign immunity can create a power dynamic that tips in favor of the government, turning the citizens into subjects. This fundamentally goes against the principles of a democratic society where the government is meant to serve the people, not rule over them. Reflecting on the story of Elizabeth Branch, it becomes clear that sovereign immunity can severely limit a citizen's ability to seek justice. It provides an almost impenetrable shield for state officials, allowing them to potentially act with impunity. This can lead to situations where citizens are left feeling powerless and voiceless, which is not the hallmark of a healthy democracy. In summary, sovereign immunity, as it stands, can pose a significant threat to the public. It can create a barrier to justice, protect potential wrongdoers within the government from accountability, and undermine the democratic principle that the government is a servant of the people, not their master. It's a complex issue with far-reaching implications. But one thing is clear, the concept of sovereign immunity needs to be revisited and reformed to ensure it serves the public and not just the government. After all, in a truly democratic society, no one should be above the law, not even the state.